Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an Evolutionary Astrologer and this is the Evolutionary Astrology message for the week between the 24th of February to the 3rd of March 2018. So what do we have in the sky this week? Well, we've had a lot of tension and some aggression with Mars uh, uh, squaring a lot of the planets in Pisces over the last week. But this is going to be behind us from the middle of next week and we're going to get some J Jupiterian trines into that cluster in Pisces which is just going to open things up there's more benevolence and luck coming in a feeling of abundance and optimism just there's a feeling that the load is much much lighter than it was in the past week which is good and we're going to have an energetical build-up towards the new moon on the 2nd of March from about the 26th let's go down to details on the 24th Saturday we have uh, the uh, beginning conjunction of Mars and Vista and they're going to be conjunct till about the 10th of March this is a time not to flutter and 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 not to forget about the things that you feel are sacred for you in your life but be loyal to them and kindle that flame in your life and it will pay it will pay um, we have the moon squaring Neptune on Saturday and opposing Mars. This is a day to watch out for your aggression and know that you're very um, sensitive and can get hurt much more easily on that day, especially with relationships because we have the square between Mars and Venus still going on in the sky. It's going to be at its height on Sunday the 25th and this is a very lively time within relationships. It's a time that could be full of passion and sex and love and lust, but also aggression and anger. So just watch the volume of emotions going through. This is also a time that Mercury is not very much in charge of everything it blab blabbers out of its mouth. It's conjunct Neptune and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to conjunct Venus a little later during this week. So it's definitely a, a, definitely a time to talk about things, definitely a time to, to, to spill things out within relationships, but do so tactfully, do so mindfully, do so sensitively, don't, uh, don't speak too fast for your own good, don't uh, uh, say things that later on could have consequences without thinking of these consequences beforehand. So, um, Saturday, as I said, sensitive, be aware of that sensitivity. Sunday, the 25th, we have the height of the Venus square Mars and Mercury conjunct Neptune, as I just said, and the moon opposes Saturn. So you could be more um, concrete regarding the things that you want and understand that you need in your life that just don't be too judgmental. Monday the 26th we have the moon opposing Pluto but we have a lot of trines in the sky so generally from the 26th, 27th, the 1st and the 2nd we're having an energetic build up towards that new, towards that full moon in, in, uh, in Virgo but the 26th already we can feel the, the, the cloud lifting so to speak and we can feel this new energy floating in just don't be too obsessive or too total and allow some uh, flexibility on the 26th because of that moon opposing Pluto. Don't be caught up in the drama. Tuesday the 27th, moon trine Pluto. We have the power we need within us. It's not in the outside world, it is within us, trine Pluto. Wednesday the 28th, moon conjunct Regulus. Great day for business, great day for honors, great day for public... public pu <laughs> sorry lapsus Publi uh, publicizing anything that you've been working on for a while and and want your peers to acknowledge um, Thursday the first Venus trine Jupiter beautiful time for relationships all these days can be beautiful because it can expand your relationships it can deepen them 
there's a feeling again of abundance flowing in into this realm also in 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 in, in the ways of satisfaction and money we could find that things are heightening and bettering and generally the theme on thursday the first of march is enjoy it and ride that energetic wave there's so many trines in the sky created by these jupiter by this jupiter just don't exaggerate because the moon is going to square jupiter on that day as well and that makes us a lot more hedonistic and indulgent we could want things too much too soon too far too high and not be content with what we have and that's the only thing that could be our downfall on Thursday, Friday the 2nd, we have the full moon in 11 degrees Virgo and it opposes Neptune and squares Mars. And we have Mercury trying Jupiter on this day. So again, mercurial essence uh, uh, growing larger and heightening with Jupiter. We have this expansion of communication and learning which is happening, which is great. But uh, with the full moon opposing Neptune, squaring mouse we could get agitated that not everything is under un our control that we cannot foresee or understand everything that there's some things that are unseen or or uncalculated that come into the big picture and change it and it's just about understanding what it is we can control and change and what we can't let go it is a, a learning process to know the exact limit between what we can and should change and what we need to recognize as beyond our powers. And a lot of that full moon energy is about that. We have Mercury conjunct Venus next Saturday and the moon squaring Saturn. So regarding self-esteem and, and self-judgment, be balanced on that day. It's a good day to assess things, but not be too aggressive with that judgment. And Mercury Venus, well, Time to open up things within your relationships or the, the way you, you think about the way you, you uh, satisfy yourself in your life or you bring in money. It's a great time to learn new things regarding those subjects, regarding how you satisfy yourself, regarding how you bring in money and regarding relationships. So it's really a time that is full of knowledge regarding our relationships with other people and our relationships with the world and our relationships with ourselves. Generally, I like the picture of the sky over the next week and I hope this is going to be a beautiful week for all of us. For any questions, private readings or courses and private lessons, you're more than welcome to uh, um, contact me of course and thank you for sharing this, thank you for commenting and thank you for liking. This is Boaz Feiler wishing you all a great week ahead. Goodbye, live long and prosper.